everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today we're doing some short hairstyles. First, I need to apologize. It has actually been a very long time since I filmed with this wig. I didn't realize how long until I got a bunch of requests in the comments and then I felt bad, so apologies. This wig takes a very long time to put on and so I just, I procrastinate on it. But thankfully you guys keep me on my game. You ask for it, so we're here, we're doing it. We've got some medium to short hair hairstyles today. I think you're gonna love them. They're easy, they're cute, you can wear them every day, or you can wear them for like a more dressed up occasion if you want to. So I'm into it, I hope you guys love it. Let's get into it. Let's start off with this somewhat 90s throwback. This one is ridiculously easy. You're just gonna do a French braid with the top portion of your hair. And then you're just gonna finish it off with whatever you want. Clear elastic, claw clip, scrunchy. I'm doing this with some hair left down around my face, so it's good for kind of like day-to-day -day running errands. But you could do this with all the hair over your ears and it would be a really cute workout hairstyle. Next, I thought it would be fun to play around with some subtle pigtails. For this, you're just gonna pick up the top half of your hair on one side and pull it back and secure it with an elastic and then do the same thing on the other side. At this point, you can wrap some hair around the elastic, but I'm adding these little pearl scrunchies just to pull it all together. And lo and behold, that is it for the hairstyle. It's very easy. I think this is another gym appropriate one if you want it to be, or just like a cutesy little live in your life hairstyle. Okie dokie, now we are on to this twisted hairstyle. You're gonna start by making a rope braid on either side of your part and then pulling them together and securing it with an elastic. After the rope braid, check to make sure that everything is rotated the way you want it and you can pull out any little hanger on our hairs if you need to. Then I'm going to grab a large section of hair on each side of my part, bring it to the back and secure it with an elastic. And then I'm gonna make a topsy tail. So we get a twist again, but it's a little looser than the rope braid so they kind of like go together but not matchy matchy. And now I'm realizing that I want these two to be a little closer together, so I'm gonna loosen up the one on top. I'm also gonna tighten the bottom one, and that way the two meet together in the middle. And then obviously you can stop there and it's super cute, or you can add in a little clip like this one from the Kristen S. Holiday Kit, which if you see it, get your hands on it, it's great. Um, and that's the hairstyle. I like this one with like a bohemian winter moment, or maybe like a wedding or something like that. It just feels a little bit more dressed up and then a little bit more like bohemian goddess. Something about it does that for me. I don't know what it is. Okay, now for an easy twist on an old classic. I am so excited about this one. So essentially you're just making two ponytails and tying bows in each of them. I'm gonna start with just the hair from the crown of my head and position that just a little higher than you feel like you need to because with short hair you like lose real estate very quickly. And you also wanna use your thumb and forefinger to loosen up the hair over it to give you that volume and tie off that hair elastic with a bow. And then you can grab some more hair and you can play that however you want. I'm still gonna be leaving some hair down. I would probably recommend that if you wanna keep those kind of vintage vibes going on. And you're tying that with a bow. And if you want, you can slightly loosen the hair in between the two ponytails, but don't go crazy because this is not a bubble ponytail moment. Just, no. <laughs> And once that's done, this hairstyle is done. I feel like this hairstyle could go with a sweater for everyday cuteness or with like a black cocktail dress and maybe some winged eyeliner for a retro moment. Also very cute. And let's finish with the side braid. So you're gonna pick up a large section of hair from next to your part and you're going to Dutch braid it for a few inches and then braid a couple inches normally to cure it with a bobby pin. And then you're gonna go through and pull it apart starting at the bottom and working your way up. 
Mm, okay, first time trying this, I started the braid way too far down. And you fix that by taking a smaller section closer to the top because basically the bottom of that section that you start with is where the braid is gonna start. So because I took a really big section here, the braid starts at the bottom of that section. So basically, I have to do it again with a smaller section at the top. And there you go, you can see this comes a lot closer to the part than it did before. And like I said, the braid starts at the very bottom of the first section I took. So if you wanted it like on the part, you would start with a very, very tiny section. But this is just about what I was going for, so I'm happy. And then we're gonna lift up a piece of hair next to the braid, take the normal braid underneath, pin it in place, and then let the top down to hide it. So the only thing I don't like is that this bump coming up because you can kind of see this nice line and then at the end it kind of makes it look like it goes line, bing! So I'm gonna just pull this apart first because I like volume. So I'd rather make everything else more voluminous to meet this than to make that smaller. And I also did accidentally loose a flyaway here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the mouth of the bobby pin and th put it through the end of the flyaway. Not totally at the end because the ends taper, so you wanna put it over like the fattest part of the end of the flyaway. <laughs> and then you're just gonna take that, pull it back somewhere where it can hide, and then stick the bobby pin in. And it's gone. Now if you want, that can be it for this hairstyle, but I'm gonna add in a couple Starburst bobby pins because I am in that kind of festive winter mood, and that's gonna be it. And that's it for this hairstyle. I love it because it's like the easy half of a crown braid and you get that look from the front, from the side, you get the volume. It's all my favorite things in a hairstyle. And there you go, that's my short hair inspo for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I had a ton of fun filming this. This wig takes forever to put on, but once I have it on, I feel so cute. I always think about cutting my hair this length as soon as I get it on. What do you guys think in the comments below? Do you think I should cut my hair to this length? or nah, because here's my rationale, okay? First of all, this feels way more me. If I didn't have a Kaylee Melissa channel, I would have cut my hair by now, absolutely. So that's the first point. Second point, this would be a lot easier to put under a wig than my current hair is because my hair is V long, it's hard to hide all of it in a realistic looking way, which is why the back of my head looks so ridiculous, so that was two. Point number three, I can wear kind of what's called a half wig, and so I would just braid this portion of my hair if it was short, and then I'd put on a hairpiece, and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference for just about everything except for like a high ponytail. I don't know, I don't know. I keep thinking about it, maybe one day I will. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. But that's it for today. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video because it helps my channel out a whole lot. And you can obviously click the subscribe button to join the Braidaholic family here on Kaylee Melissa so you can learn how to do your hair and do other things good too. That's it for today. I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah! Bye! Braid and I like incorporating the stars because it feels like wearing like a star crown. Uh, I just don't know how to describe the things I like about a hairstyle without sounding like a 12-year-old girl, honestly. And of course, tie it with a bow. And tie it off with a bow. And if you want to wear the bows, this is your time to put the first one in.